Honorable members of the House of Representatives, today is the fourth Monday of July, 2017, the day the Constitution mandates that Congress convenes to commence its regular session. I hereby call the second regular session of the 17th Congress to order. For our first session, we passed on third reading 210 legislative measures. <laughs> Given that we had 97 session days, that's an average of two bills on third reading for every session day. Our concrete efforts to provide our people with better chances at life is undeniable. As we embark upon our second session, let us remember for whom we legislate for. And this is for the generations that will come after our own. The history of our nation is like a book. Each generation is allowed to write a chapter. And when we pass on the torch to those who will inherit what we leave behind, I wonder what the younger generations will speak of when they remember us and our legacy. On my part, <clears throat> I simply want to be remembered as the speaker of the people who listened to and acted upon the often unheard cries and complaints of the marginalized and voiceless members of our society. Together, let us empower the disempowered. Let us make sure that we write our chapter well, so that those who will come after us may build upon what we have secured. Let us keep this in mind as we begin our session, second session. Thank you, and may God bless the Philippines. <laughs>